Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Adora Christiana. <laughs> I'm ready for the gym so that's where I'm gonna head I'm gonna come back wash my hair I plan on journaling potentially at the park today I have some editing to do so I could finish up this previous vlog and I think I want to do something for myself today like I have a little treat for myself in store but just stay tuned and let's see if I really managed to work that into one day we all deserve a little something special sometimes right just a little solo date you feel me let me head out and get to the gym and i will call you guys back when i'm ready to continue my day i wish you guys were up higher but i just got back from the gym and i wanted to show you guys my hair this is growth after nine months going on nine months i literally cut it bald baby basically bald i have that video on my channel if you want to see it but it's pretty long yeah it's pretty long it feels so healthy i'm tempted to style it i keep getting inquiries about it because i've been wearing the same hairstyle for like two going on three weeks so people are like oh my gosh i haven't seen your natural hair like you haven't changed your hair yeah you know i'm kind of in a funk with that right now but now that i am getting a little bit of length i'm thinking about trying some things when i did take my previous cornrows out and it was stretched and crinkly it was actually giving some kind of style so if anything that'll be the next style i try with the baby hairs maybe some clips i don't know give me some suggestions i don't know i just wanted to show y'all this is my hair update it's so healthy y'all it's so healthy and if you hear my mom in the back don't mind her she on the phone chatting it up i'm just gonna go ahead and cornroll this up and get ready for the day It's healthy and soft. I do want to trim it though. I know. I don't really know how to go about trimming it when it's this short. I think I'm gonna do some YouTube research. I'm just gonna cornrow it now. Sometimes I'll be thinking like, what if I just run out like this? Like, what if I just stepped out like this? What they gonna do? What they gonna say? What they gonna say? This is just the update on my hair. I think I'm about to go live while I cornrow. guys it's been a few hours actually i've just been editing all afternoon and i'm finally ready to do my next thing for the day you know wednesday my day off so i gotta get it in i just got dressed i'm gonna show y'all my outfit girl she threw it on it's like literally nothing but i feel so cute i just came in here to do my brows and put on some gloss to complete the look and i'm thinking about putting on hoops but i really don't think i need them like wait till y'all just see the outfit i don't know why i felt such an urge to put something on my head now let me show you my outfit this is a sports bra that i got from target this is just like a cropped hoodie and i borrowed my mom's sweatpants with this little monkey on it apparently this is paul frank but if you ask me it's bobby jack so this is my outfit i feel so freaking cute for no reason got my bracelets on this one's just like a little charm i literally almost forgot about my shoes oh you know why because they're downstairs i gotta get my shoes and i'm gonna show you the whole joint all right i got the shoes these are the fake birkenstocks i literally picked these up in my last vlog if you saw when i wasn't supposed to be in that aisle but yeah, I love this. It's giving bummy. It's giving not really matchy, but put together, honey. So yeah, I'm going to head out. You could probably guess where I'm about to go, but I'm going to just show y'all when I get there. Let's go. I made it to the park and it's 530. 
This morning was a rough one. Okay, I got caught in the rain leaving the gym. It was crazy. It was gloomy. It was coming down. And it is beautiful right now. I'm so ecstatic. But I did take a little detour within the park because I think I'm going to try and sit in a different area. I'm going to see what I can do. There's people out here in the dugout. People playing basketball. Kids on the playground. I just love being around like matched energy. Like we all just out here enjoying the outdoors, period. Okay, let's go to our spots. Okay, I'm at my favorite place. I can finally breathe. <laughs> so good out here this blanket makes it even better <laughs> it's so so lift now it is time to get into the zone yep i'm about to journal right now and i kind of want to do this quick not quick i don't ever rush this i only do it when i know i have time and if i know i'm not going to have time during the day i'll do it the start of the morning or the end of the night but here i am at 5 48 p.m i actually had a really productive day so getting to this a little later in the day like it's not bad it's not bad i set my intentions and now i'm doing it i'm just gonna get in the zone and i'm gonna start writing started to explore my feelings about what God is doing through me especially because I always have gotten comments about myself and being mature for my age this was since I was about eight or nine you know as I grew older I'm 24 now and I still get that from adults like older adults and i will have a particular conversation and they'll say how did you know that like i did not know that at your age honestly it just comes so naturally to me certain things are really just common sense for me and that's just how it's always been and i never really thought about it too much until recently and i would get those comments from adults and i'd be like i really don't know like where this comes from in beginning my walk with god he's slowly revealing to me that it's all been him all along it's just him using me him speaking through me and this morning i ended up giving a little bit of a word it's like in the moment it doesn't feel like that because it's just impressioned on my heart and i just really felt the need to share at the time but i gave a word watching it back i'm like oh i was spitting i gave a word this morning and it resonated with so many people it made me so happy to see and to hear it was just a story but i was getting so many hearts on it and people telling me oh my god i love this i needed to hear this this is so good just really good feedback really good feedback and so here i am hours later back with the thoughts of like how do i just be knowing stuff like how do i just learn certain things so easily how do i give advice without thinking about it and just knowing what that person's going through or what they should do and it's god y'all it's really god I really just journaled to him today about what he's trying to do with me. Like, what is my offering here? What am I serving to his other children? Because that's what we're all here to do. We are here to serve each other that I have recently learned in the Bible. Okay, read your Bible. So there are things that I'm here to do and now I'm just on the search for what exactly that is. Even from the beginning of my content journey and realizing that it's something that I really aspired to do. I always had an open mind and I said, okay, Lord, if this is not exactly what is going to change my life or to get me to that end goal that you have for me, that is okay with me. Just lead the way and wherever it takes me, I'll go. Like I'm okay with starting off doing hair and then ending up being a big time 
pastor like you know what i'm saying not literally but should that be the lane that i'm going down i'm okay with that because one thing leads to another everything connects one thing that you went through was just a lesson to be applied to the next thing or the thing 10 years later that you don't realize you're going to be going through that's really what i journaled about today and i'm just waiting on him to get back to me about that now i'm gonna go into my devotional book this is the battlefield of the mind book devotional there is an original version i talked a little bit about this in my last vlog but yeah i found this book at the thrift store you guys so if you just want to get it on amazon or try your luck at your local thrift store i don't really know but i literally found that i was led to this book by god you can hear the story in my last vlog i'm about to read this i'm actually gonna pick a chapter Girl, I feel like that chapter low-key made me emotional. I don't know why that chapter low-key made me emotional. I guess I resonate with it more than I'm believing right now. This chapter was just about faith and it's so funny because the chapter prior to this I was looking for because I wanted to go back to something that she said in it and I hadn't documented what chapters i had read so far because i'm not reading this book in order and i jumped to it by accident today as soon as i saw the title i was like yes that's the one it was about matthew 14 verses 25 to 28 and this is the famous verse about jesus walking on water and i never knew the full story but it's about peter having faith in god so much that when he saw god walking on the water he literally said if you really have the power of god within you then i shall walk on this water with you and he really got out of the boat and started walking on water with jesus nobody told me that part he started walking on the water with jesus it's thundering it's lightning it's pouring the waves are crazy and god just pulls up just walking on the water everything's chill y'all i got it don't be scared Simon volunteered to get out on the boat testing his faith and he was the only one out of 12 that did it the gag is he steps out on the water he's realizing wow he's allowing me to walk on the water with him right now he starts to look around and he sees like this is really happening and he's realizing within his surroundings there is a storm and he's really walking on water right now his carnal mind started to eat at him and he sunk he immediately sunk he starts looking around he gets scared he's like no this cannot be happening he sinks his faith was lost just that quickly and of course jesus still helped him out of the water helped him back into the boat and he continued to calm the rest of his disciples the moral of the story really was to have unrelenting faith in jesus you can't have a wavering faith because that's not what faith is you need to remain strong in your faith it doesn't matter what's going on or what kind of storm you're going through you have to keep the faith because if he brought you to it he'll bring you through it girl he'll bring you through it so i ended up reading the chapter that came after that that i just explained to you and it kind of just went into it a little bit more about keeping your faith so now that you kind of have a backstory i want to read the closing prayer for you all and then i'm gonna wrap up lord jesus sometimes i'm like one of the fearful disciples requiring all kinds of proof before i can believe you how many miracles do i need to see before i can call you the son of god help me to be more like peter ready and willing to walk with you in any and all storms of life thank you for loving me and encouraging me to follow you in faith amen Yo, it is so dark. I'm like so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm in the car on my way to Barnes & Noble. I want to get a book. I want to get a novel. I'm so excited about that because I wanted to incorporate reading in my day-to-day -day for a while now. Especially since I graduated college, that desire has increased. And that was two years ago. I just wasn't intentional about adding it to my routine i also didn't know where to start because your girl she was in college they was giving her articles to read and psychology chapter books and stuff like you know so i didn't really know where to start with novels and everything i was just so into like practical stuff so ah! 
I'm so excited to go get a book, you guys. One of my newest friends is who actually gave me a recommendation list. So I'm going to go into this Barnes & Noble and I'm gonna use that reference list in addition to a book that Maya Beatrice recommended when I was watching one of her vlogs. It's called Fourth Wing. She just raved about it and she had a few clips where she was reading the book and she literally was like geeking over that joint like what and i was telling my mom too i said mom i want a book that's like a movie but a book like that's that's what i want there's just so much to learn from a book it doesn't matter what kind of book i can go from my devotional book to my novel romances fantasy whatever it's just a nice escape a healthy escape so i'm gonna go get this book and girl we, we won't see what i leave with yeah i'm super excited about this it'll be really cool too depending on what book i get that i will have someone to talk to about it Drawing and I don't even know where to start so I'm just gonna let y'all watch me figure this out <laughs> I'm feeling so determined to find these books by myself I really want to get a Colleen Hoover book and the fourth wing by what was her name but I'm so lost I don't go to the library I don't go to the bookstore this is a new hobby for me so wish me luck <laughs> Yo, that's literally about to be me literally hey you guys just did my makeup as you can see i just filmed me doing like a get dressed with me i filmed my makeup i'm about to go meet my friends so we can go to brunch i want to show y'all the outfit but obviously i'm in the car i think i'm going to change the scarf i'm going to see in a minute but i just wanted to check in and let you guys know that my day has begun and we're going to limitless in philly it is a brunch spot by day and a hangout lounge kind of club vibe by night but yeah we're gonna check out the day vibes today and i'm really excited i'm so hyped to see my friend tanasia and catch up if you watch my ac vlog you probably will recognize her because i linked up with her in atlantic city she's coming from atlantic city this time to my side of town and then we're gonna head to philly together i'm going down i probably wouldn't panic singing it like quicksand shoot a movie <laughs> For food, do you have this? Do you have that? We don't have that. That's we don't have all that. she kept saying. And then we gonna say we gonna leave. She said, no. What you mean? No, y'all ain't even got nothing. She was so sweet, but that's all she kept saying. Yeah, we don't have that. I'm sorry. Oh, you're leaving. Can you stay? You should stay. 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 I came for the full experience. The waitress was a paid address. <laughs> Honestly, you're not lying. Like. 
and I swear this has happened to her before. So now we're at Brunch Inn, or Brunch Inn, I don't know how to say it, but we're somewhere else. We're about to go in there and see what they're hitting for, but if not, we agree we're going to Chick-fil-A, and then we'll hit up like a different spot to just, I don't know, hang out. It's a beautiful day. So let's see what they're hitting for, y'all. <laughs> Y'all, tell me how I walked into brunch in and I right. ran into Jack. Right, sis. That's this from another so mister. This is from another mister. Literally, though. <laughs> but Are I'm you enjoying? enjoying? Yeah. Okay. She got us this spot and I wasn't even looking. Thank you. You didn't even look at all day. Thank you, baby. You know, you like today. I know. I'm just in a daze. The best days ever though. Oh my gosh, that came so fast. Oh, cute. You're cute, you guys. Taste at the same time. <laughs> she gonna make a crunchy face. <laughs> It is giving wine. Right, it's light. It's kind of like something you would like, right? It has like a little bit of like a sweeter kick to it. Yeah, she said she can have a couple of them. Yeah, I like it. pictures because i realized i never took pictures i literally took tenacious pictures why didn't i just swap off phones at that moment like i don't think either of us were thinking otherwise she would have asked me if i wanted some pictures too we were just so eager to get to the next place but 
again i'm home now i decided i wanted to take pictures so i took some pictures right outside my crib they're okay it's kind of giving like scrapbook digital photo kind of like blurry vibe in some of them so i'm gonna figure out like what kind of aesthetic i want to lean towards based on the initial outcome and go from there I'm trying to take some selfies inside the house because i really have been admiring my makeup you guys like i'm so proud of myself i got some compliments when we were out seeing this makes me wonder like oh my gosh how good can i really get but the selfies were a fail but i did post a cute car selfie today so i might just use that and then add it to the carousel unfortunately i'm gonna go and wash my makeup off i'm probably gonna go live while i do that just because and i'm gonna start reading a book until i fall asleep honestly i'm feeling tired like i'm starting to feel it so i don't know i might just end the night off with like a glass of wine or like a beer or something just to you know while i read my book it'll just be a little nightcap it's literally 8 57 right now I did go to sleep really late the other day because i wasn't feeling well like not that i wasn't feeling well i was feeling really weird and so i didn't sleep well the other night i got about four hours of sleep and i feel like i'm still working on catching up so if i get to bed within the next hour hour and a half i'll be happy although it's unlikely but yeah and if you were wondering i do have a light attachment <laughs> on my camera right now i was using it to take my pictures so i figured let me see how it looks while i'm vlogging it looks pretty dang good i'll just link it down below it's really handy the battery life is very good and you can change the light settings on it as well so it's really clutch cold stone was good i got what i had been craving for the past week which was vanilla ice cream and Reese's mm, mm, mm. it was literally so good and I feel like I didn't really vlog when I was there because it really wasn't much to vlog plus it was really crowded so I had to like maneuver through this crowd I'm like I want to drop my ice cream with my camera and everything in my hand overall my day was really good it was crazy the way that lemon list worked out because when I tell you we was in the ghetto like we was in the ghetto and once we walked in I was giving like mm, okay high hopes because it looked so pretty but once we sat down, it was kind of like flies around. And then she took really long to come and bring us a drink menu. Like, you took long to bring us the drink menu and then you sit it down and it's a handwritten menu that you obviously was taking time back there writing out because y'all don't have one already written up. Like, what? I don't know if it was the drink menu or the hookah menu, but either way, it was just very, like, it was giving unprofessional. It was giving unprepared. And then once we finally got to the ordering the hookah, ordering the food, it was like, okay, we don't have this flavor. We don't have this entree. You don't have this entree, then why are you open? You know what I mean? We nicely were just like, I think we're going to go somewhere else. And that's what we did. The brunch in place was tasty, but my taste buds eventually got overwhelmed. I've never experienced that before like I couldn't finish the shrimp because it just started to get really salty and my pancake was just like so good that it was just it was just really filling and like rich and like thick and like Ugh. not that that's necessarily a bad thing but yeah I just couldn't finish it personally so but yeah let me get to sleep because I really do want to start reading one of my books oh my gosh which one should I start reading first the romance or the fantasy Mm, we gonna see we gonna see which one i pick up i'm gonna chit chat with y'all later top of the moment top of the moment top of the top top of the moment it's two o'clock right now i'm gonna bring my mom to the park with me today i was showing her some videos and pictures of me riding the complimentary bikes that they have and she said she want to ride bikes with me that's what we're both getting ready to do right now yesterday was fun i really like hanging out with people who i can actually connect with actually talk about real life stuff with like you know what i'm saying like all that all that small talk and just jibber jabber it's cool but connecting with people it just hits different so yesterday was really fun it was a very organic time with my girl tanasia then i came home and i was so excited to start reading as you probably saw i started off my reading with 
it ends with us by colleen hoover y'all i started that book and when i tell you i was up like i was up i'm 10 chapters in like there's no way i read 200 pages in one sitting like your girl don't even read like this is my first book where i'm actually voluntarily sitting down and reading a freaking book yo like so that's how you know it's good i can't wait to finish it but i'm also sad because i can tell that i'm gonna finish it so freaking fast but that's okay because i also got the fourth wing when i went to barnes and noble so i could start that too and that one is a hefty hefty book i kind of like glanced at it it's more of an advanced read you have to have good comprehension skills to be able to like breeze through that one like i said i'm not a reader i'm trying to be so that one's probably gonna take me a little bit longer to read but i'm sure after a while like i'll get the hang of the writing style and you know i'll just be more in tune with the dialogue and everything so i'm just gonna get ready i'm gonna definitely show y'all what i'm working with when i'm all done i think after we go to the park we're gonna go to sam's club so that we can get some essentials for the crib it's really it it's really gonna be a chill saturday oh yeah it's saturday if i didn't say that already i see the you see this right like <laughs> oh she's cute she's cute okay i haven't worn the, the actual headband in a few days and I had like redefined the curls yesterday. So now they're kind of bigger. Ooh, okay. And this is my top that I got on. And these are my mom's old behind. Who knows? They're probably older than me. Little, little moment. All right, I'm ready. Here's my finished fit. Got the tank top. I was on the hunt for a tank top that kind of like well, goes in like that. Found it at Target. 350 girl. So we got the top. I ended up putting on the necklace I got from the boardwalk with my cross. I switched out my adored necklace. So I got my little mini stack, my bracelets, Alex and Annie, and Pandora Girl. Got my waist beads on. My mom made me this one. I got this one from Philly while I was at Dilworth Park skating. And then I have on my mom's trusty sweatpants that are probably older than me. So yeah, and then I just put on, like I said, my black and white Adidas, got the glasses to kind of tie in the necklace and the white in the shoe. So yeah, I'm about to get like a little snack and pack it. And then we're going to go, girl. We're going to go. I almost forgot, y'all. This is my favorite affordable um, body mist. It's hair and body mist. And that's how I ended up finding this. I wanted something to smell good that I could put in my hair. I found this at Target and initially uh, initially I picked up Coconut Palm. Initially I picked this one up. It's Coconut Palm and it smells so good. It's like a mix between coconut and vanilla and this is my go-to. I love it and I feel like it goes with my body chemistry really good. But this one, um, Alexis Wilkerson put me on to um, when I was watching her vlogs. She's always buying like little things here and there. And this was one thing she picked up and I'm like, oh my gosh, I never thought about the green one. This one is Pear Blossom. And it just sounded good when she was talking about it. So <laughs> your girl picked it up and it's really good. It's perfect for the summer. Y'all tell me how we got to the park to ride the bikes and the app doesn't work. I was frustrated on the verge of tears because I was excited to go on a little excursion with my mother. And so was I. But I'm just going to look at it as a sign. I don't know. Maybe one of us was going to fall. Maybe I was going to drop my camera. I don't know. But I'm just letting it go. We still have this whole park to explore. So we're just gonna walk because our destination- And we'll have another day also. Oh yeah, we're gonna have plenty of other days because we're going to Jamaica. So that's gonna be the real excursion. So like I said, we have this whole park to explore still. So we're just gonna explore it on foot. But the main um, destination we wanted to get to on the bikes is the lake. So that's where we're gonna walk to and just take it in. I just wanna show her cause it's so pretty.
Mom, do you want to formally introduce yourself? You just popped in. You didn't say, like, hi, my name is, I am Madora's mom. Hello, people. I am Madora Christy Ellen's mother. And we're spending our day going on a bike ride, but we was having problems with the apps. But we're doing some walking. Right. Which is very interesting. The park is very beautiful. She's been talking about this park for some time. So... Let's begin our journey to continue to walk. Let go. We found the pond, you guys. I was looking for this the last time I was here when I did end up coming up on the lake. So freaking pretty. Beautiful. There's families out here just hanging out. I wonder if there's fish in there. Oh, it looks so much better in person. It's crazy. My mom says she want to come here and roller skate. We should get roller skates. And I agree. That would be so popular. This is like today's practice with having my camera and my phone trying to get content on both of them because your girl is new to this. Like, I still got to get, get it for the gram, my mini vlogs. But I still want to treat y'all too. You know what I'm saying? Everything just looks too good. I'm so weak at my mom vlogging late. Okay. Out here inspiring her. She's sending it to one person. And that's okay. And that's okay. My mom said, come up on the stage and say, my journey. So here I am. The world is mine. <laughs> do it. Just do it. Like Nike said, be fearless. Stay focused. Love yourself. That's a word from Dora Weezy. It's a hidden gem out here. If you know, you know. was so many different TikTok trends as far as food goes, but it was the jalapeno with the cream cheese and the hot Cheetos. I still have to try that. <gasps> Maybe I'll do a video, y'all. Should I do a video of me trying like strange food concoctions? I think I might have to, just to switch it up, something fun. cereal fiend y'all my first ever love honey bunches of oats now my new love yo if you follow me on instagram and you see my stories i was advocating hard for the raisin bran crunch bro bro it's the flakes can't go wrong can't go wrong yeah no i always say that every time you come to sam's you really do get a bargain y'all we're back home we got all the groceries in the house ate showered up and everything so i'm all changed i'll show y'all my outfit i actually love it it's like the best chill fit in the world on top of the fact that this is the first hoodie i'm wearing of the fall season <laughs> realistically we know it's not fall according to the calendar but it's fall baby it's fall baby so changed my outfit so did my mom and we're gonna catch the 915. It's about 8.30, 8.40 right now. So we're gonna head over there. So yeah, we're gonna head over there in the next few minutes. She's gonna pack her food actually. I already ate, but she's gonna pack her food and eat it in the movie as she should. I really hope it's good. Like I really hope it's like, you know, keeps my attention, suspenseful, makes you think a little bit. I like movies like that. In the meantime, I'm gonna read a little bit of It Ends With Us while my mom is getting ready 
and yeah we have a little bit of time so yeah i'm gonna check in with y'all when we inside outfit change oh, i didn't even show y'all my outfit here y'all can get a little i totally forgot i was sidetracked but i got the scarf on with all these colors i got a little bit of light pink got the light pink hoodie white pants these are the same exact pants that i wore earlier but they're just white then i got my little birkenstock baby I just feel like I wanted another storyline, like an additional storyline. It was kind of just like too straight to the point. Kind of predictable, I guess. It's like 11.30. So yeah, it's 11.30. You want to go home and I'll check in with y'all next time I pick up the camera. Hey, you guys, I made it home from the movies. My mom and I went to go see The Equalizer 3. If I could rate it, I would probably give it like three out of five stars i needed a little bit more just a little bit but it was good i had a really good day a really good week it was productive it was fun your girl actually put in some work okay because editing these vlogs is no joke okay i'm a little bit sleep deprived but i'm working towards a schedule and getting a groove and a flow with the new things that i'm adding to my daily and weekly routines i will be fine i'll be fine but i am very tired i'm contemplating if i'm gonna read but i probably shouldn't because then i'll be up for like even longer <laughs> it's a little after 12 a.m right now i don't even think i'm doing anything tomorrow so i might just end the vlog right here i already filled up my whole sd card y'all it's five hours worth of footage and i just can't even wrap my head around how that happened but if you did make it this far in the video thank you so much for watching i appreciate all your support thank you for spending time with me me i urge you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the tribe and i will see y'all babies in the next video